going to be our first video, and we're going to talk about a couple. As a free-to-play player, one of the most important things I suggest to people is whenever a, re uh, a recruit event happens, make a recruit for that event. Right now we have a Delta Alliance recruit going on, which is great. Make a Delta Alliance card. The most important recruit event for a free-to-play player or a new player is going to be the Klingon. And the reason why is because it gives you a free tier 6 ship, which you can unlock on any character. The ship is terrible. It is. A hot mess. But it's a way to get the Withering Barrage great on all your characters, which is great that we will be needing for most builds because it's the extender for uh, and in scatter wall. Uh, so yes. Definitely want to make a Klingon. Other reason why you want to make a Klingon. Is you want to get a Klingon to level 5. To unlock the ships across all characters. Which means as a Federation character. I can find a Klingon ship. Klingon character. I can find. Federation ship. Um, that is one of the most important things you can unlock. You can only unlock by getting a Klingon up to 65. Now, this is not the free to play part here, but it is something that I, I, so if you are looking, you are okay spending money into the game. Some of the most optimal things you can get are going to be this right here. So the reason why is this ship is the main. One of, in my opinion, one of the best ships in the game. Legendary D7 Intel Battlecruiser is insane. Um, not one that we're going to be showing on the free-to-play or budget builds, but for anybody who is interested in doing uh, more high-level content or anybody who's willing to put in a little bit of cash, these things cost about 80 bucks when they're sale. Um, this would also get your character to 65, unlock a bunch of stuff, and give you one of one of the best ships in the game. D7 is just an amazing ship with in intelligence and miracle worker combo. It can run surgical strikes three. It, in my opinion, this ship is better than the Inquiry, which is a very popular ship. Inquiry cannot run Surgical Strikes 2, 3, Surgical Strikes 1, I think. This allows Surgical Strikes 3. It's a very great, great ship. Comes with a decent console. Sadly, the crates aren't the greatest. Ship is amazing. Straight up just being able to promote your captain to 65, it huge unlocks that, that ability to use Klingon ships without having to be on a Klingon anymore. Um, as I talked about in my earlier video, I do still think this is probably the best uh, legendary ship that you could purchase right off the bat. This is, gives you the extender for Surgical Strikes, which allows you to go from budget into that maxi stuff. Um, and then, of course, Two piece Romulan, the uh, two piece Romulan.
along with this bundle, which this ship is amazing. This is a good trait. You get a T6 coupon out of it. So you are getting three ships for the price of this. Um, on sale, it's about 80 bucks. So I'd that by three. And, you know, you're not paying that much for each ship. But you are, you are having to pay up front for each ship. But we're here to talk about the free-to-play starting out. The Klingon is the Klingon event is really important to get that that ship. Take a look here. Leave. In one of these. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> um, it is. It is worth getting just for the withering bro. We're going to be using the withering bro, pretty much on most of our free to play builds. Don't think I have. Do actually. E6 bird of prey. Basic bird of prey, not even bird of prey. Look. Right. So what I wanted to talk about a little bit more. So getting playing on recruit is gonna be very, very important for that T6 ship. The other thing you can do is if you're again okay spending a little bit of money starter pack romulan elite starter pack i think it's like 20 bucks goes on sale once in a while um this is going to give you the t6 light warbird this this will also give you withering barrage we'll also give you some other stuff a board bridge officer some inventory slots some bank slots all, all that stuff is really good It'll give you mark to gear that will upgrade um these these elite starter packs federation rami and klingon personally i think uh i think the klingon and the romulan ones are the best because both of those ships give you garage federation one does not give you leave does not garage yeah and the Discovery one, Dimidar one doesn't. And bro. So, realistically, Romulan and Klingon have the best starter packs for the trait. Okay, beyond that, so, again, free to play. Probably not spending 20 bucks. You're looking at free to play stuff. But that transition from free to play to budget, those two elite starter packs are completely. Duty officers are very important. You will want to get duty officers one way or another. A lot of them through the exchange. There's duty officers. Stores. Endeavors. Do your endeavors. <laughs> Uh, doing endeavors is probably one of the easiest ways to increase your character stats. 12% extra damage on all my space energy weapons. Um, I have not been doing it. See, very low. Um, beyond that, anytime there's events, do the events. This one, yeah. You may look at this console and be like, oh, I'm never going to use that. It's a science console. Do the event. Always do the events. Get the consoles. Doesn't matter if 
they're good right now, if they're good for you right now or not. Do the events, get those free items, get them in, in your reclaim reward. Do the event campaigns. Like I said, the first event campaign you do, you're probably going to pick up. If you're afraid to play, you're probably going to pick up the uh, two tier six ships. There's just ships in there that you need. If you've already spent a little bit of money and you've got some good P6 ships out of the store, you're probably going to pick up the low buy. Mainly for that extender for uh, beam overload. Once you feel good in these ones, then, then I'd go for the promo ships. Uh, the only other time you might pick up the promo ship is if you need credits. Because you can sell these promo ships for about one point. Seven both, which should give you pretty much any any uh chip you want off the exchange. The but going for the low buy, if you wait for a sale, you can almost get two ships. But the if we can find here. Uh, this ship is the ship that. You're going to want to get whether it's through this whether it's through the exchange anything like that five gives you beam overload it's just too good to pass up base uh space gear formula effect uh the wide arc phase cannons extremely good Bio neural, neural infused circuits. These you will see on a lot of min-max builds. The meta console. They're worth picking up. Ground gear. See a lot of people you see me included. You run portable phase cannon on a lot of my characters. I'll be able to choose split beam rifles, whatever. Just almost any um, that back disruptor rifle. But those are really what you're looking at when you do end up going for this instead of that at some point. But let's talk about the ship we're going to over here here so this is the t6 bird of prey it gives you withering barrage at the end i'm gonna go up to space here in a moment and check out all the stuff that i'm running um Almost everything on here is crafted. Nothing here crafted. But let's let's go up into space and we'll talk about it. Okay, now we're up in space. Technically, we're on a recording. I recorded it. Talk here. Um, again, everything on here is crafted. I did upgrade it to at least mark 15. That is going to be one of your hugest increase in any kind of power is upgrading things to mark 15. Um, these consoles are just crafted consoles that upgraded either to mark 12 or mark 13. I'm running no traits other than a good day to die. So that's the only trait that you have to buy off the exchange. It's worth buying. It's the most important trait. Go back to what? So everything else here is traits that just come with your character. But having good day to die allows you to use it as a clicky instead of waiting for big damage. Also, evil sis. No starship traits. You have some reputation traits down here. 
expect free to play players will work on their reputation. You may not have any of these traits right off the bat. That's okay. The important part is just having some good space traits here. I don't even have three of them. You highly suggest that you make a Romulan alien so you can get your Romulan operatives. It's going to be another huge increase in damage. Really cheap auction house, but honestly, if you bring your character from level 1 to 65, you will pick up plenty of Romulan, uh, superior Romulan operatives. So, I went with more of a survivability build because only goal with the starter ship is a withering barrage unlock. The ship is not a fun ship to fly. It, the ship is very squishy. Um, it's very low stats. The ship they gave out. So, we are looking at engineering team. Emergency power to weapons. First shield player priority. Engines. Structural integrity. Structural integrity and reverse sh shield priority will be... Uh, survivability traits we are running one grab wall one just mainly to group things up um, hazard emitters for full heal science team for a shield heal damage abilities were pretty better volley attack pattern beta torpedo spread Team, tech teams, not a very good skill. Highly recommend by Hemocyte Weaponry, rank one off of the exchange. It's decently cheap, usually a whole bunch of them up there. I say cheap, two million credits. So a day or two of doing for the galaxy or something like that should get chemocyte weaponry one most people will say chemocyte weaponry two is probably the one to get i was getting both of them at some point but one is usually your best bet because not a lot of things in in the ensign slot for tactical that will increase the damage that much chemocyte weaponry will increase Okay. This is just um, augment or uh, augment games as using no specializations. As you can see, I have and oh, there only all crafted items, no specializations, no starship traits. And using superior Romulan one operatives with subdiffusion of subdiffusion. You mean cloaking and decloaking damage. I'm gonna do a base we're gonna do a patrol on normal mode. Very good. Good on normal. Ninth roll. Should be able to get all the way to mastery five one normal. If you don't just wait the timer out. Do ninth roll again. Just do ninth roll. It looks like that was extremely easy, and it's uh, gives you just a on a master XP. Okay, so we're gonna go through this. You will most likely die. I even die in this one. Um, remember, we're only using basic crafted gear, and the reason why I'm using crafted gear is because it's been a long. I made this character a while ago, and I boosted him. So, if you didn't boost your character, 
you should have basic gear that would be perfectly fine that you probably have leveled up here and there. Um, I didn't have any basic gear, so I just started with crafting. I just crafted all the basic gear on. And we do not have the extender for cannon scatter volley on this character. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to unlock and in, uh, the Withering Barrage. As you can see, I definitely took a lot of damage there. The other thing I'd like to point out, notice my weapons are maxed. This is the most, one of the most largest things that people can do to increase their damage. Make sure you're not running on balance. Run on weapons mode. I, I, I go weapons max, I lock weapons, and then I pull my engines all the way. I don't care about shields. Shields kind of, you know, unless I'm using reverse shield player. Or player I'm going to have trouble with that word forever. Um, I generally don't care about shields. When doing this, it is so important to come in from this angle. That way you are behind the ships when they, when they warp in. And this ship does, uh, I believe you get the radar flanking. And if you took, uh, if you went into the specialization for intelligence, you get improved radar flanking. Uh, this, yeah, so you do the flank damage there, much higher. So you're going to want to stay right behind them, do as much damage as humanly possible for as long as possible. Eventually, you will probably die, just like I will here in a moment. Um, but the goal is to do as much damage as possible during this phase before you before you get yeah. do everything in your power to survive here. Actually, got unlucky with getting the bow guy. When I was gonna die. I was gonna try to reposition myself and see if out of weapons range, but realized not gonna happen. We're just gonna die here, and we're immediately going to go right back to that to that flank position uh, with this ship. You want to hit them from behind. Um, it's, it's a very weak ship. I should have actually used some maneuvers here to get in. And our whole point here is just to get in behind these guys. This is where the Mo guy made us that way. Turn, get behind them. go right back to doing as much damage as possible until it all drops out when he says they're down to a few ships they will not teleport any more ships in just finish off the stragglers and you're done with the uh with the patrol as you see in this one i did have a little bit of mastery i think i had the first one this got me the other four. So if you don't, if you if this run doesn't get you withering barrage unlocked, uh, you can just wait wait for the timer to go away and do it again. Uh, or you could do another patrol. Um, wanted would be fine. Trouble over to Sierra would be fine. I'm just looking at what I need for marks. Reputation wise, always try to get Discovery. Discovery has Torpedo, the console, and the Beam Array, Beam Bank. All three of those are extremely strong uh, items. Uh, Discovery by far has the biggest items. Yet. Competitives has a great engine. A lot of my free to play videos. 
this is a starter build which is why you don't see any reputation gear on this character why it's all crafted gear this is meant to be I just literally hit 65 I don't have anything I haven't spent any time unlocking reputation or anything like that hit 65 I have I have this t6 uh, bird of prey I need withering barrage let's get it I'm that we unlocked it there now it's it's going to increase scatter volley by four seconds means it has a 14 second uh recharge the global for it is 15 seconds so you're one second short from having it permanently up if you can get the global down now unfortunately you're probably not going to have the the global be able to get the global all the way down to 15 seconds that boimler's effect out officers or some crazy old school ox at and that by the way I recommend getting Boimler's effect. Boimler effect. Probably one trait. Um, if you don't want it, to, Boimler's effect does not guarantee 100% uptime or 100% uh, drop down to 15 seconds. You could do Photonic Officer 2 or 1 to also improve those odds. But I have found that. 99% of the time, I'm perfectly okay with just using Boimler's effect and the extent. Um, so yeah, take away from this. Do the ninth rule. Get your Withering Barrage. Save credits for a Boimler's effect. Honestly, if you have friends who play the game, they probably have an extra one or they can probably help you with it. If you're in a good clan, close knit clan, uh, talk to your clan mates. A lot of people have a lot of credits laying around, or or might have a lot of extra credits like that. See what you can do. Work out deals with people. Whatever it takes. I highly recommend that you get Boimler's effect. Get a good day to die. I got. I think you must get a good day to die really just that important one layer's effect I think those are the two that are mandatory those are mandatory traits in life unfortunately one of them's locked behind well not locked behind is a low buy item but buy it off the exchange the other one is comes out of infinity lockbox but um on that you could free to play stuff should be coming up next next one that we're going to do is the earth it's battleship which is going to be unlock emergency earth so emergency weapon cycle that is the next trait that you want to unlock as a free to play player find a way to get emergency weapon site you can get it off of a couple uh these store ships so drag cling on one so to find a cling on character cling on ships you can do that arbiter the mokai highly recommend not getting the mokai uh, both of the arbiter and the uh, craig are five threes they're excellent ships the mo guy my opinion four two four three and can't recommend it definitely recommend the legendary mo guy. three two with the experiments one something like that but the 
that no guy right there I probably wouldn't suggest it now it is definitely more tactical focused with more tactical consoles but that 4.3 is go with the Arbiter or the, the Klingon version of it that's going to be your best bet that would be the first sea store ship I buy honestly 100% that would be the first sea store ship that I going from free to play to a budget all right thank you for watching the video and the next video should be the arbiter going over that taking a look at that